what it do everybody and we are here back at kiddel tv and today i got something different and a little fun what it do what I hey what it do guys and we are here and we're here to try something new everybody knows i love funko pops i collect a lot of funko pops i have a lot in my collection i most recently checked they need to buy some pop protectors on amazon and I seen that I have more over a hundred Funko Pops that need to be still put in a protector and protected and you know, all that junk. So that means I have over a hundred Funko Pops here in, you know, Kidal TV Studios. And I definitely want to know how much do they cost? How much? What is the value? What is a PPG? PPG is the website they use usually for um, collectibles. I think it's mostly for pops just to see what the uh, average cost would be. Um, I always check PPG on the Funko app, which we'll be doing today on my phone. I have my phone right here. We're going to get it readied up right now. All right, let's get our phone. Where's the Funko app? Funko. All right, so we'll be using the scanning feature on here. You know, so we're using that to uh, check the value of these Funkos that I have in my room. So not everybody knows Funko does a lot of IPs. They go from like, they have a lot of like series, like the like ones a lot, a lot that I like to collect are like Star Wars. Um, I have some Ghostbuster ones. I have Back to the Future. I have Jurassic Park Funko Pops. So we're gonna go through all those, all the ones that I kind of like, like, and we'll just start off with going like with regular four inch pops. We won't do any moments, you know, just yet. You know, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll go, we'll go through some of the, some of the stuff I have now. I have stuff here I wanna check. I have stuff there I wanna check. So it's a lot, it's gonna be a long video. It might be, we'll see. All right, so one of the first Funko Pops we're gonna check. It's actually a Funko Pop I only paid five dollars for it's buzz lightyear and xl01 suit this is actually one i bought at five below he's actually he's still selling them at the park these are park funko pops this is like a 20 dollar pop at the park so let's try it out let's scan this sucker all right let's take our phone scan it come on come on there you go and what does it say right here we got ourselves a $12 value. $12 is the value of this guy right now. Yeah, check it out. 12 bucks. This Funko Pops only worth 12 bucks, which is already a profit for me because I only paid $5.95 for this guy at five below. So that's a profit for me right there. Random Funko Pop right now. Let's see what I got right here. So I got this one. This is pretty, pretty cool. Guardians of the Galaxy, Stan Lee, the 2019 Fall Convention. Uh, this is exclusive for that, for the Fall Convention. So, uh, can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Oh, oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> He's very cool. Let's scan him. Let's put him on the thing. We set up the app. Bam. How much is him? Ooh. Nice. What do we got a value for Stan Lee? Bam. We got a full, a good $43. He's worth 43 bucks. I think I paid like uh, 15 bucks. I think I paid 15 bucks for him. Me and D bought him at some like uh, some small, like it's like a kind of like a swap meet for Funko Pops. It's kind of like an, at a, it's funny because it's set up in front of like a liquor store and it's like a whole bunch of tents, just all Funko Pops. I forget what city it's in, but it's, it's the store's called Funk Cool. You can check them out on Instagram, funkcoolshop.com. Right, next guy on the chopping block. <laughs> We're going to check it out. It's actually, uh, it's John Cena. <laughs> It's uh, <laughs> doo, 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 doo. so it's John Cena. That's actually as Peacemaker from the Peacemaker series. I got this at the WonderCon. This is a limited edition piece. Uh, only limited edition. It says limited edition on there, dude. Limited edition. Look, I ain't lying. Limited edition. Oh, it's got a sticker. You know I love the stickers, dude. So yeah, let's scan this guy. Let's scan him real quick. All right, there's two versions of him. Cause there's a, there's a wondrous con. I don't know what the difference is, same company, but that's only worth $27. With the wonder con exclusive, this one's another $43 Funko Pop. See, Let's see if we could just hit it right there. $43 for this guy. Dude, already made a profit. I think I got him for like 15 bucks at the what wonder con. So like profit right there. And he's so cool. There's a version of him with like in his underpants and there's a version of just eagerly. You guys seen this series? It's so funny, dude. John Cena is hilarious. 
All right, cool. I got another one right here. This one's actually the same thing I got him at. I got this one at five below or five ninety five. This is so cool. The Beetlejuice Barbara Maitland. I don't know how much she's worth. I haven't really checked. I'm assuming she's going to be worth something. He's so cool. That scanner in. Oh, and she's the old box one. See, her box is old. I think what they say. She's a 2021 Funko, so she's not that old. Let's see. Reset the app. Barbara Maitland. Oh, she's not a bad. For a $5 investment I have made. A cool $22. This one's worth 22 bucks right now. Not bad, not bad. He's not like a big old one. I kind of want to get the other ones on the back of it. I want to get the whole set. But this one's 22 bucks. I got him at five below. So that's like 15 bucks. More than 15 bucks profit right there. Now this guy, I'm really wondering how much he's worth. Because like this one was given to us by Brian Gilliver. Bam. Brian Gilliver sent this. It was all the way from London. He's very cool. He's an ad icon. Bob's Big Boy. Bob's Big Boys are very collectible. People love to have this. This is from the Funko. I think of Funko Versary, 1998, 2018. 20 years of Funkos. This guy looks so cool. I don't own any Bob's Big Boys, but now I do. Scan him in. So he's not worth very much. He's only worth 14 bucks. But I had my first, you know, Bob's Big Boy. It's actually kind of just like saying you owe a bob's big boy i own a bob's big boy the 2018 funk anniversary one this one will probably be one it'll be worth more later on down the line so you know i'm gonna hold on to him don't worry brian i'm not gonna get him i, I still treasure him even though he's not worth a whole lot because i think uh this would be like pot exclusive and it would probably be worth like 15 bucks he's only worth 14 bucks so i took a hit there but it was a gift so i ain't gonna get rid of him i'm gonna hold on to him all right, what to do, what to do. I got three more Funko Pops. Let me show you real quick. Top shot, there you go. Oh, God, I brought some coffee with me too. Mmm. Mm. Coffee. And so I got three of them. I got Radioactive Man, the Simpsons one. That one's cool. I got Powerline Hot Topic exclusive. I got Comic-Con exclusive, the Toucan. This is the Comic-Con, uh, their mascot. This is, what, this is who they have every year at the Resident mascot. So cool, he's a pirate one. This is the one I chose to buy this year. Uh, 2022 Summer Convention. This is for, this for the San Diego Comic-Con. So let's see how much they're worth. All right, Toucan. He's worth, with the sticker, let's see. With the sticker, he's $34, and there's no price for the other one with the regular sticker. What's the other sticker one? It's a weird sticker they have, they put on him. What is it? Funko Limited Edition. It's a Comic-Con sticker too, but it's not this one. My, this one, the other one says Summer Convention. Yeah, Summer Convention. That's this one. So this was 34 bucks, not bad. I only paid 15 bucks for them on Funko.com. So that one's not, cool. that one's not bad. I like that one. Let's try Radioactive Man. How much is Radioactive Man worth? Radioactive Man is worth 17 bucks, dude. That's good, that's good. I think I got it for like 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. He's 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 worth some money. Let's go cool. making some money right there. All right, let's check power line. Let's see how much power line's worth. Oh, I think I might have to just look him up because I can't scan him in. Oh, really? Okay, so that's how much power line's worth with that same sticker, fifty-five bucks. And that would be this guy right here. Oh, so he's a big baller right here. 55 bucks for this guy, dude. Sick. Making some money. I have it. I've had this one for a long time. I've already taken him out of the box too, but I've taken care of the box. So you can see it's still flat. Sweet. My power line's worth some money. He's worth 55 bucks. Sweet. Mm -mm -mm. Funko money. Bring it down. Funko money. Bring it down. All right, so let's move on to some like other IPs. Let's move on to Star Wars. Let's actually Mandalorian. I have a lot of Mandalorian pops, so I'm not going to bring them all. I'm going to be like six of them. I have six of them right here. We're going to go through them. Some of them are exclusive. Some of them are Funko Shop exclusives. So let's start off with this one. Mandalorian is a Funko Shop exclusive. I like how they say exclusive now and not limited edition when it used to be limited edition. Mandalorian with Beskar staff. Oh, pretty cool. I like that one. That one's pretty dope. Let's see how much he's worth. I ain't not bad. He's actually worth 30 bucks. 30 bucks for Mandalorian with Beskar staff. Put him off to the side. What do we got next here? 
This is just regular Mandalorian. This is for the first one. You notice some of them don't say Mandalorian, like this one doesn't say anywhere does it say Mandalorian other than the, the figure is. This one has the actual like logos on it. This one is, what is this one? Mandalorian, just Miss Man playing Mandalorian. That's all he is, but he's pretty cool. Part of the whole series. This is like the first, the first series of them. I think I have all of them except for like a Quill. I didn't get, never got Quill. I was kind of regret not getting Quill. I bet you he's probably one of the most rare ones now, probably. So let's see how much Mandalorian is worth. I don't think he's worth very much. He's like a super common. Yeah, he's only worth ten dollars. Super common. They probably still sell this one, probably. All right, next one we got here is Grogu. Luke Skywalker with Grogu. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. I do like this one. And let's see how much he's worth. 13 bucks as far as much of the common. So he's a common. 13 bucks for that guy. Oh, did you guys hear that? The Roadrunner just went by. <laughs> let's see. Oh, this, one, this one's got a sticker. Let's go with one with a sticker. So we got, this one's cool. This one's actually a really cool one. I had to get this one. Boba Fat, see, check it out, Boba Fat, no mask, he's all scarred up, he's barely getting all his armor. Walmart exclusive, he's got a sticker on him, see where's the sticker at? Oh, I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's worth 21 bucks, not bad. It was a common, I think I got him super cheap, I think I got him when he was like, they were still so 8.95 or 8.98 or something like that at Walmart. Next one is, of course, Fennec Shan. <laughs> these are like, you could get these right now if you want, if you really want to get one of these. I was giving away on my channel too, these guys, but you can, you can get one of these for like five bucks at uh, five below right now. Yeah, look, and, and you'll make money if you buy one too. Look, it's, they're worth 14 bucks. This is worth 14 bucks, so not bad. It's like, she's, he's, she's worth as much as a exclusive and she's not even exclusive. Now this one's the one I'm, I'm gonna find surprising if she's worth anything. I don't think she is. But uh, like no one wanted this one when I purchased this one, this Cara Dune one. This one was like a super, super common when I bought it. Not a whole lot of people wanted it. I decided I, I got her just to like complete my my whole collection. And let's see how much she's worth now. Cara Dune's worth 30 bucks, yo, 30 bucks for Cara Dune. So if you guys got a Cara Dune and you got it for cheap, hold on to her. She's, she's actually worth some cash right now, 30 bucks. Damn, Cara Dune. All right, here's two more Star Wars Funko Pops. I want to know how much they're worth. We bought these when Galaxy's Edge opened up. I've never checked the value on these. I just, these are just ones I love. We took care of them. We always put them in protectors. Hondo Naka and DJ Rex. I think this one still has a protector on it. I don't even know how to check the price. I would have to just search these up real quick. I'll have to search them up on the Funko app. How much Hondo Naka? Hondo Naka's worth 30 bucks. Bam, 30 bucks for Hondo Onaka. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ah, Hondo. Pretty cool. He's in the protector too, so he's well protected. All right, and let's look for DJ Rex. DJ R3X. That's how you spell DJ Rex. Yeah, he's worth 31 bucks. 31 bucks too. He's still about 31 bucks for DJ Rex. DJ Rex, what it do? Look, and they're like from the opening landing. <laughs> Sorry, Wars. Galaxy says, dope. I'm always gonna cherish these. I'll never, I don't think I'll never sell these. All right, all right, all right. If you guys know me, you guys know I love Back to the Future. It's like one of my favorite all time movies. And I got a lot of Funko Pops. Got a lot of them. Let's check it out. That's a lot of them, right? Look, it's right there. Got like a lot of them. So let's check out what some of these are worth. <laughs> some of these are probably worth some cash. I'm almost positivo. But let's check out, let's see. Let's check out first one. This one, Dr. Emmett Brown with remote. 19 bucks, 19 bucks for Emmett Brown. And there's another Emmett Brown's a Loot Crate exclusive. How much is this one worth? It was an old one too. Ooh, look how old that one is. The old packaging. 23 bucks, 23 bucks for Dr. Emmett Brown with the little electrocution things. Come here, like, let me tell you something. Now this one I like a lot. This was a special edition. Marty McFly. I think I got him at WonderCon too. He's in his cowboy suit from part three. And see how he's like a little shoved over just a little bit. He doesn't like kind of like fit in the box because of his big old sombrero. Kind of shove him over. He's special edition though. I think it'd be worth something, right? Oh, it's worth some. He's not a hot topic. He's supposed to be a hot topic exclusive. It's worth 26 bucks, see? But he's not. He's a, uh, they just put special edition on him. It's probably like a reissue. 
And then we got here, America's favorite bully, Biff Tannen, what it do? <laughs> All right, Biff Tannen, how much you worth? Thought I gotta get rid of you. Ooh, he's good, he's worth 22 bucks, so you may stay. All right, cool. These are more Marty's that I have right here. This is a really cool Marty. Marty in future outfit. Oh, this is the only at Target exclusive with the rainbow hat. There was actually a different version of him with like a silver hat, which really didn't match with, with, uh, with the whole movie. So this one's cool. I actually got this one. I just recently got this one too. So I think he's like a reissue, like a 2020 reissue. Yeah. Bam, how much is he worth? $23, cause he's metallic. He's a metallic one, see? Let me see, let me click down for you. Damn, 23 bucks for Marty. Got another Marty, 1955 Marty. Bam, what it do, 1955 Marty. He's got the wood skateboard too. Look, check out, he's got the wood skateboard in there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, he's not worth very much, only $16. This Marty's only worth $16. So you could probably, it's probably like a real obtainable one. You could probably get this one yourselves. Add him to your collection. Now we move on to Jurassic Park. We got some Jurassic Park pops here, as you can see. Look, they're all here. Even sexy Jeff Goldblum is right there. Well represented. All right, let's see how much sexy Jeff Goldblum is. Bam! 22 bucks for sexy Jeff Goldblum. I would think he'd be worth a lot more. He's not worth very too much. Like, I think a lot of Funko Pops are like dropping in price. I'm not sure if that's like a common thing, but. It's still worth some money though. The next one I got over here, see Jurassic Park Funko Pop is only at Walmart exclusive, Mr. DNA. Look at me, I'm Mr. DNA. Mr. DNA, how much you worth? What is your value, Mr. DNA? Mr. DNA's value is only $12, so he's a super common, even though he's got a sticker on him. Then I have three other ones. I have two other ones. I have this one, the Therizinosaurus. Therizinosaurus. This one's also, I think this one's like uh, the first dinosaur one that's in like one of those regular boxes. But let's see how much you are worth. Same thing, 12 bucks, not worth much. Look, I have a uh, Ian Malcolm, Dr. Ian Malcolm, but it's the old version, this is Jurassic World ones. So let's see how much this guy is. Probably not much, the Jurassic World ones aren't worth very much. Yeah, same thing, 12 bucks and get them again. Not very worth very much. And let's see, Dr. Ian Dr. Alan Grant, you better be worth something. You have a sticker on you, dude. You're like one of the main characters. You should be worth something. Let's see. Damn, he's only worth 12 bucks. Damn, not worth very much. Not worth very much. Now, I do have some Jurassic World uh, movie moments for them, too. I have, uh, I think I have, what is it? Muldoon with the raptor. And like, I think Ellie with the Triceratops, the big old Triceratops poop. But I actually did order something in the mail and it came in and it's one of my favorite scenes and we'll open it right now. <laughs> Let's open it. Yeah, I hope it's what I think it is. I hope it's nothing embarrassing. Oh no, it's what I think it is. Diapers. Did they protect it well? Kinda. See how well I got protected. Another movie moment from Jurassic Park. Oh no. Oh, come on, come on out. Yeah. Oh, he's pretty good. He did good shit. Oh. He damaged. He's already open, so I can open him already. Open him from the bottom, I guess. But look what he is. It's Timmy with Velociraptors. It's a scene in the kitchen. This, this is one of the, my favorite ones. We gotta open it up. Let's open it up. Yeah, let's open this sucker up. Since the back, the bottom's already open. Oh, he's a big old scene. Let's see, let's put his box somewhere over here. Oh, there's his background. Oh, his background got bent a little bit. What is it? Like dinosaurs and stuff? Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, this scene is so cool. Look at Timmy's all dirty too. Oh, Chino. 
I'll show it to you guys. Can you guys see it? Look how awesome this one is. This one's really cool. Well done. Look, at he's touching the spoon. That was freaking the hell out. It's about to get eaten by the other one, too. Oh, my God. I got it for super cheap, too. I only paid, I think, like, 14 bucks for this one. I don't know. They're having a crazy sale over there at, uh, at Target, so I don't know. He's worth, I think, it's a $29 pop. So I don't know how much he's worth his PPG. But, wow, he looks really cool. Really well done, too. Mm, I like it. Look, I'm in the scene. I'm in the scene. <laughs> this one's so cool. And you get two little dinosaurs. It's like you get three figures for, the, for like one price. Like, oh, he's so dirty. And they even put like extra pots and pans, even though you wouldn't see them in the background. They put them there. And then like, he's on a cool little base too. Who knows? I might, I might, I might just leave him out on the base. I don't know how much it's worth. Let's find out how much it's worth. Okay, so I scanned this one in. It's Tim Murphy with Velociraptors, and it's showing insufficient data for trending value. So this one, there's no price on them, but I think I still got a good deal on them. I only paid fourteen dollars. He's worth $29.99 retail if you buy him in the store. So I think I got a good deal. Hey, when it's your first time checking out Dean, me, and Kids All TV, and you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to Dean, me, and Kids All TV. Get you notified. Hit that bell. That's right. Whenever we post a new video. But from Dean, me, and Kids All TV, we'll see you guys all on the next unboxing. What it do, guys? Mm -hmm.